Hi, my name is Ethan Goldman and I'm running for election to the West Hartford School Board. I was appointed to the position in 2021 and am now running to be elected for the next four years. My wife and I moved to West Hartford in 1989 and have raised our four kids here. In deciding where to move, the quality of the school system was a critical part of our decision. Having a strong school system is important to the long-term success of our community. I am currently working as the CFO of an international manufacturing company. I am a CPA. I also spent over 20 years in the U.S. Army Reserve retiring as a major. On the community side, I spent over 18 years as the treasurer of the West Hartford Soccer League Association, as well as being a coach in both the boys and the girls league. I've also spent approximately 10 years on the board of the Jewish Federation of Greater Hartford, the last six of those years as its treasurer. My priorities in terms of the school board are the following. One, academic results. Academic scores have dropped with COVID. I want to see the school system focused on improving the academic results of the students across the board. Not for the sake of the scores, but because we want to see the kids in our school system come out with strong academic skills that will enable them to thrive throughout life. We owe that to our students. Two, create a board finance committee to work with the school finance department. It is critical that we spend the school system dollars effectively, especially since the federal COVID assistance will be going away in the next year. To make sure we are spending our funds effectively, the board should set up a finance committee that would work throughout the year with the school finance department at identifying spending options and alternatives as opposed to only meeting during the budget month of March. The board should be taking more responsibility for managing the school finances. Three, we should expand the current curriculum committee consisting of school personnel to include parents and school board members. This will help create transparency and allow for different perspectives in terms of the curriculum. Four, at the end of last year, the school board made significant changes to what could be said during the public comment period that occurs at the beginning of each month. I'd like to see those changes reversed. Freedom of expression should be encouraged, not restricted. Thank you for your time and consideration, and I hope you have your vote in November.